Okay, here's where we're at for the search for the ultimate pulse motor or ultimate circuit for the pulse motor um, as we are doing on our forum I will leave the link to the thread in the description for those that you want to come and join in and um, chuck in your ideas as well and also if you have any questions or need help we're all there to do exactly that, help you out. As you will see here we have a coil with one single wire that is the primary side of a 240 to 12 volt transformer. It is about 130 ohms across that coil. The rotor is spinning slowly so that's not very exciting. What is exciting is that's only one single wire. There is no all effect transistors, there is no read switches, just the one coil. I know it's probably been done before, but uh, first time for me. The way I have set this up, um, the coil is firing up this PNP transistor, which is a TIP 2955. That in turn fires up 2N3055 which is a NPN transistor and dumps the power from the cap back into the coil which is causing our rotation uh, that is the voltage on our run cap at the moment and we are simply coming off of the coil through a diode sending the back EMF through two LEDs and then back into these two super cap which I have oh, loose connection there somewhere which I have hooked up in series um, I have a pot here to adjust the power going to the base of the NPN transistor um, this is this diode or this resistor here I'll have to make a higher value because if you turn this down too low that transistor goes poof so um, still some more work to do on the circuit. I'm thinking it would probably be better if we got rid of this big chunky thing, put in a signal transistor and a MOSFET here instead of another transistor. The only problem with that is we're low on voltage to drive the MOSFET so we'll have to lift up the voltage, um, drop the ohms on the run coil, go a thicker wire, less turns um, and change a few other things in the circuit to give her a little bit more power but it is working and it's working very nicely we are only running on the caps there is no batteries the battery pack to charge the cap is right here uh, with these two caps here um, they are 25 farads each hooked in series gives us 12 and a half farads at about Five volts is what is in them. That will make this machine run for about three hours as you see it here. Um, the interesting thing with it on the scope is it's very hard to get the scope still at this low RPM but you can see the back EMF spike just passing through and then after that you'll see the current being produced in the coil from the magnet passing it but there doesn't seem to be any input current going through the coil but at 130 ohms at 1.5 volts we're probably not going to see it so very very low powered machine it is spinning a rather heavy and large rotor but that is a very well balanced rotor and the bearings on it are very good so there you have it we have finally succeeded in getting a single wire pulse motor to run and it is indeed running very good and yeah, we'll get about three hours out of those caps so from these two caps here we're going through a 1k resistor quarter watt that's feeding this cap and of course that blue cap is feeding the coil when the transistor switches on so that's what we have. 
we'll muck around a bit more with the circuit. I won't post a schematic on it yet because it's not um, very user friendly. Everything has to be near spot on for it to work. Otherwise it won't continue to run or we get smoke where we don't want smoke. Okay, well that's it for me. So um, cheers from the Tin Man.